Well, here we are. My first stop, I told you, was going to be Rebecca's. Pardon? And so we're going to take a walking tour around, and I will try and go slowly because there is so much to see, you guys. I can't begin to tell you all the wonderful ornaments and so on that's in here, so on. So on doesn't even begin to describe it. I had Rebecca's mom put my purse behind the counter because I thought as I walk around with this camera, if I'm watching it and trying to watch the time because the boys said, now if you stop at five minutes, mom, then you can just put these right up on the blog real fast. So I'm watching that and I thought, I don't want to bang into something. I'd have broken ornaments everywhere. You can see this is going to take more than one video. Aren't these adorable? These kitchen ones are so cute. I had not seen these before. This section has got a lot of Christmas ones in here. I'm trying something different, so I hope that this works in the way I'm filming this. Remember, I'm a work in progress. You guys are supposed to help me out with this video learning. Oh, look at that Route 66. Would my husband love that? That might just have to come home for our Christmas tree. These little fruits and vegetables. I have a whole collection of those in an adorable little basket and it sits right on the windowsill where I do the dishes and I just love them. So every time I come to Shipshawana I like to try and pick one up. Look at all these cute little, these are uh, miniature apothecary jars. They've got cookies and candy. I gotta go up. This is something new that I saw this time. Check this out, you guys. Look at this. Grandma's old buttons. Is that not a hoot? This is just a hint to what the quilts are like. You, you can't imagine all the beautiful quilts in here. We'll get to those in a few minutes. What is that there? A red and white quilt. It is one of two I have already seen. And you know my thing for red and white quilts right now. Okay, I'm kind of walking around and starting and stopping this at, in different little nooks that I find because that's kind of what Rebecca's is, is there's all these wonderful little vignettes of Christmas and Easter and quilts and <laughs> this tree is beautiful. Oh, check out that sign. I never saw that before. 1401 Ship Shawana Davis. <gasps> I'm going to have to ask about that. This is the patriotic tree. Red, white, and blue. Okay, this particular tree is for pet lovers. And if I zoom in here, I think you're going to be able to see an ornament that looks like, okay, who is that little guy? Looks like Clutch to me. This one's got wild animals. Okay, check out the treasure boxes. 
And also, look at, look at all the thimbles. I think Brenda's still making her little things. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And up here, oh, that's a glare. We can get it. miniature bears. I love trinket boxes. If you can't get your ships you wanna, you know, just bet. These little sweeties would fit really nice in a postal mailbox, priority mail, and Rebecca would send one out to you. Look at that Noah's Ark filled with ornaments. Look at that. There is one happy hippo. He's in Shipshawana. You know, life don't get any better. Okay, this is the view as you're going into Rebecca's, um, the second half of her store, actually. We call it the back room, but it's really not the back room. It's two parts right next to each other. And this is where most of the quilts are hidden. Okay, now if you can see that bright yellow one on the wall, straight to the back, kind of looks, I think it's, that might be a bear's paw. Close to a bear's paw. Probably not. I should think about that. Anyway, I'm in love with that quilt. I've been in love with it since the first time I saw it. So it might be going home with me. All right. Homemade black raspberry jam. Amish peanut butter. Oh, you can eat yourself silly around here. Okay. Let's see. we got to get you a better area here. I've got a few of these uh, baskets. And they are locally made. They are just wonderful. They come in all different sizes. I have one uh, small one that's a it's a cracker basket, and I've got my tiny one and a half inch nine patch blocks stacked up in it. Works perfect. Oh, look at that tiny fan! I didn't see that one. Maybe that one will have to go home with me. It's a tradition for a lot of the Dear Jane girls that we uh, we have to go home with a quilt from Rebecca's. It just wouldn't be a trip to Ship Shawana without one. I kind of like that tree back there, too. And look at that. A red and white drunkard's path. Okay, i kind of been making a circle here so you could see some of the quilts on the walls. 